वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डाइविंग इन टू द फैसिनेटिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ कॉमेट एसेज कॉमेट एसेज आर अ वाइडली यूज टेक्निक टू एसेज डी एन ए डैमेज इन सेल्स वेदर यू आर अ स्टूडेंट रिसर्चर और जस्ट क्यूरियस अबाउट साइंस दिस स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड परफॉर्म द कॉमेट एसे वेल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट इज डी एन ए डैमेज एज वी नो डी एन ए इज अवर जेनेटिक मटेरियल and it is susceptible to damage from various sources and these sources can be environmental factors chemicals radiation and even normal metabolic processes within our cells so first coming to the types of dna damages dna damage can be ranged from single strand breaks to more severe double strand breaks cross links and base modifications it's crucial to detect and understand these damages to study their effects and develop appropriate interventions now let's explore how the comet assay works the comet assay also known as single cell gel electrophoresis this technique provides a visual representation of dna damage at the individual cell level now let's talk about its procedure So first step is sample preparation your sample could be blood cells it could be your any model culture cells or it could be tissue if your sample is tissue you should homogenize the samples to segregate the individual cells before starting the assay now second step is embedding in this step the cells is embedding in the agarose gel and spread onto the microscope slide that means make a agarose coated slide first and then mix the desired quantity of cells with agarose and spread over the same slide and then again cover the same slide with agarose and allow to solidify now next step is cell lysis after the agarose has solidified on the microscope it's time for cell lysis this is a crucial step the cells will be treated with a lysis buffer resulting their cellular membrane will break down and cellular content including dna will be released from the cell the next step is electrophoresis once the cells are lysed it's time for the electrophoresis step here's how you proceed connect the slide to a power supply ensuring the electrodes are properly aligned immerse the slide in an electrophoresis buffer and apply a gentle electric field for a predetermined time and allowing the dna to migrate away from the nucleus after electrophoresis carefully remove the slide from the buffer final step is staining and visualization in this step gently rinse the slide with a neutralizing buffer to remove any residual electrophoresis buffer then stain the dna or slide with a fluorescent dye like ethidium bromide or cyber green then mount a curl slip on the slide and visualize under a fluorescent microscope and capture images of comets using an appropriate camera or software now let's take a closer look at how the comet structures are formed when the electric field is applied during electrophoresis the negatively charged dna fragments migrate towards the anode However, the damaged DNA fragments which are more fragmented and have less intact DNA strands migrate faster and farther away from the nucleus. This differential migration creates the characteristic comet shape with the head representing the intact DNA and the tail representing the damaged DNA fragments. Quantifying DNA damage is a crucial aspect of the comet assay. The specific parameter used to quantify the interpret and result of these assays are follows. The first parameter we will discuss is tail length. The tail length refers to the distance traveled by the DNA fragments away from the head or nucleus of the comet. Longer tail lengths indicate more severe DNA damage as damaged DNA fragments migrate farther from the nucleus during electrophoresis. we often measure the tail length to quantitatively assess the extent of dna damage in individual cells 
Tail intensity is another crucial parameter in the comet assay. It represents the amount of DNA present in the tail compared to the head of the comet. Higher tail intensity indicates a larger proportion of damaged DNA fragments, which highlight the extent of DNA damage within the cell. Measuring tail intensity provides valuable, valuable information about the quantity of DNA damage present in individual cells. Third is tail moment. Tail moment combines the measurement of tail length and tail intensity into a single parameter. It is calculated by the multiplying the tail length by the tail intensity. The tail moment provides a comprehensive representation of DNA damage which considered both the length of the tail and the amount of damaged DNA. A higher tail moment indicates a large population or a larger population of damaged DNA fragments and reflects the overall level of DNA damage in a given sample. The next is olive tail moment. Olive tail moment is a variation of tail moment parameters that takes into account the asymmetry of the comet tail. The comet tail often exhibits a hook or olive shape where the tail curves back towards the head. The olive tail moment quantifies the extent of DNA damage by considering the length and intensity of both the primary tail and the olive tail. It provides a more precise measurement of DNA damage, particularly when assessing complex comet tail structures. Fifth is head DNA. While the parameters we have discussed primarily focus on the tail of the comet, it's essential to mention the head DNA parameters. Head DNA refers to the intact DNA located in the head or nucleus of the comet. Measuring head DNA provides a reference for the amount of undamaged DNA in the cell. When we compare head DNA with the tail parameters, it helps to evaluate the relative proportion of damaged DNA in individual cell or cell populations. Many researchers also define additional parameters or customize the analysis based on their specific research objectives. It's crucial to choose appropriate software tools that provide accurate and reliable measurement for the, for the parameters of interest. The parameters of comet assay tail length, tail intensity, tail moment, olive tail moment and head DNA are key parameters used to quantify and interpret DNA damage in the comet assay. By carefully analyzing these parameters, we gain insight into the extent of DNA damage in individual cells or cell population. Now let's discuss some points regarding its applications. One of the primary applications of the comet assay is in genotoxicity testing. Genotoxic substances have a potential to damage DNA and leads to mutations and potentially causing diseases like cancer. The comet assay enables us to evaluate the genotoxic effects of various substances like chemicals, pharmaceuticals and environmental pollutants. We can assess the DNA damage by exposing cells or organism to these substances to determine their potential harmful effects on living systems. Another crucial application of the comet assay is in environmental monitoring. The assay allows us to assess the impact of environmental factors, which includes air and water pollutants, on DNA damage in living organisms. We can understand the genotoxic effect of these environmental stressors by studying organisms exposed to specific environments such as aquatic species in contaminated water or plants in polluted air. The comet assay helps us to evaluate the health and ecological implications of environmental pollution. Radiation can cause significant damage to DNA and the comet assay is an essential tool in radiation studies. We can assess the extent of DNA damage caused by radiation exposure by subjecting the cells or organisms to different doses of ionizing or non-ionizing radiations and analyzing the resulting comet structures. The comet assay has proven invaluable in cancer research. It helps us to understand the DNA damage and repair mechanisms involved in the development and progression of cancer. 
By analyzing the comet structures in cancer cells, we can assess the efficacy of anti-cancer treatments and explore potential targets for therapeutic interventions. Moreover, the comet assay enables the identification of genotoxic agents that may contribute to cancer development, which also provides valuable insights into cancer prevention and management. DNA repair mechanisms play a crucial role in maintaining genomic stability. The COMET assay allows us to study these mechanisms by inducing DNA damage in cells and monitoring the repair process over time. By analyzing the COMET structures at different time points, we can assess the efficiency and kinetics of DNA repair, identify key repair factors and gain insights into the underlying molecular processes involved. Occupational exposure to various chemicals and toxins can pose significant risks to human health. The Comet assay serves as a valuable tool in occupational health and toxicology studies. By examining the Comet structures in cells from individuals exposed to specific chemicals or occupational hazards, we can evaluate the genotoxic effect of these exposures. This information aids in setting safety standards, implementing protective measures, and ensuring the well-being of workers in various industries. So these are the diverse applications of the COMET assay, from genotoxicity testing and environmental monitoring to cancer research and DNA repair studies. This powerful technique has revolutionized our understanding of DNA damage and its impact on living systems. The COMET assay has found applications in a wide range of scientific fields. Researchers and toxicologists use it to evaluate the genotoxicity of substances, assess the impact of environmental factors on DNA damage, study DNA repair mechanisms, and even monitor the effectiveness of anti-cancer treatments. Furthermore, advancement in the COMET assay, such as the use of automated analysis systems and the incorporation of specific fluorescent markers, have enhanced its precision and efficiency. The COMET assay is a powerful technique which allows us to assess DNA damage at the single cell level, unraveling the secrets hidden in within the within our genetic material. By understanding and quantifying DNA damage, we can make significant strides in various fields from cancer research to environmental science. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more DNA science content. Remember, DNA is the blueprint of life and exploring its mysteries leads to exciting discoveries.